All right, let's take a look here at ingress and egress from an internet cluster. And here uh, we are reaching the pinnacle of very complex diagrams. And notice I told you that um, the uh, the representation of service is slightly different here. So notice that service is having a dotted line that goes around IP tables. Now I didn't double check, but I'm not sure, and this could be a, a fault on my diagram, but I'm not sure if the service lives in the control plane or the worker node. Uh, they, it could live on the worker node. It just didn't double check to be honest. Um, but anyway, what is clear, and the reason I put it over here is because it has to talk to the um, the cloud controller manager. So to me, that made a little bit more sense. But I did tell you that it represent service slightly different, uh, like from the prior diagram here. So let's talk about egress. So egress is how uh, pod traffic exit to the internet. So the idea is you have a pod up here, a container, and it's flowing out this way. It's leaving the pod. And even though I don't have the diagram, what it would do is it would go through the container networking interface. Um, and the container networking interface, it, uh, it can, we have a diagram with kubelet. And so kubelet shows that um, it talks to the container runtime. And so the idea is that you would have uh, the, the plugin. So in AWS's case, it's their Amazon VPC container networking interface. So that would let you talk to uh, VPC. And from VPC, you could then go talk to AWS's internet gateway. And that's how you'd get out to the internet. And so, you know, I, I'm just running out of space on this diagram. And that's why I didn't kind of do that variation for egress. For ingress, and I swear, I, I, I remember to, to put a double S on there, but I guess I forgot. But it's two S's, and I digress uh, that I made a mistake spelling ingress. Uh, it's for traffic to reach a pod, so it's going in this way, okay? And so the idea is it has to travel to a service. So from a service, it could be using a Kubernetes service with a type load balancer. This will work with a uh, cloud controller manager to implement a solution that works with a T4 load balancer, something that does UDP, TCP. Um, but the other option is ingress, uh, Kubernetes ingress. And so it will use an ingress controller to work with a cloud service provider load balancer. Uh, and I believe it, it's specifically for um, T7, because anytime we use ingress, it's always using um, like Kubernetes ingress, it's using application load balancer. Can you use it with a T4? I'm not sure, that might be inaccurate. So I would probably say it's just T7. But um, you know, uh, the key thing is, is that you can either use one or the other, okay? Um, but you know, hopefully that makes it clear. This stuff is probably the hardest stuff to understand in Kubernetes. They're not going to push you too hard on the exam to know this stuff for the KCNA. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there that go into super technical detail, but honestly, it's very hard to remember it all. And uh, you'll be okay if you just generally understand that uh, for ingress, we have a type load balancer of the service or Kubernetes ingress. And then for egress, it's going to use the container network interface plugin to uh, get to access stuff. And they, might, they probably won't even ask that, the egress one. But there you go.